So since I caught a little bit of a groove with this to uh, topic, I thought I'd elaborate a bit. Um, if I covered some of the old ground, then so be it. But um, yeah, I just want to speak about girls in general, and I understand this isn't true of all girls, but I just feel as if there's a lot of situations where you know, sort of girls are playing into men's hands because they want the man to take control of that situation. And a lot of the time, I feel as if men can probably get led on, you know, like genuinely believing that a girl likes them, um, only for the girl to dismiss him, you know, after like showing all the signals of liking them or whatever. Um, and I just feel as if that's a little bit shallow. I'm just going to put that out there. I just feel as if that's quite shallow. Uh, shallow, sorry. Um, there's a common perception that like men take advantage of women, etc., etc. But I dare say that the women have sort of regained control of that situation now. Um, for like I've seen, I've seen it, and I've witnessed it firsthand as well. You know, and uh, you know, you sort of you're almost taking advantage of the fact that men are, are like generally quite weak and can't say no to women like so whoever you like you just go over there you just you give them all the signals and that and then the man for, like probably for the most part is just going to say like yeah sure whatever I'll come with you or whatever and then what you just have one night of enjoyment and then that's it so like nah nah so um you know so um yeah I just, that's just how I felt anyway about the situation on Friday um, because the girl that approached us, like, like once I rumbled her, um, like, once she knew she'd been found out, she started acting completely different, like, really serious and that. And, uh, yeah, it was quite funny because I started bantering with this guy. And uh, when I said, um, no, you're definitely not coming in the same direction as me, the guy was like... <laughs> guy was like oh no you know you're going that way love like like the way i was going and I, just, I just burst out laughing and he was cracking up as well because we both saw through the act at the same time like because she tried the exactly the same act on him just after she tried it on me she tried the exact same thing on him and i was like i'm standing right here like it's so fickle as well and uh obviously the, the guy had seen the girl talking to me initially and then like went over to them and uh, but it was all a little bit of desperation for me anyway. I don't really feed off of those desperate vibes like that. Um, I'm more likely, I'm more inclined to sort of take things further if you're just honest with yourself. Like, I like genuine people, uh, real people, you know. And um, I know women struggle with direct communication, um, but sometimes you take it to a new level, you know. Like, why can't you just say no at times and... and you know, rather than every other excuse in the world, like, I've got a boyfriend or, um, you know, this and that, like, no, no one believes that, because why are you out clubbing looking like that? If, you, if you've got a boyfriend, like, you just wouldn't do it, or you might do it, I don't know, really, but, um, yeah, I understand there's a lot of social pressures to look certain ways, so, again, I'm not judging anyone, it's just, it's just an observation, really, but I haven't noticed it as much around London. I have, uh, I will say that much. And um, I even used to feel like Harlow was realer than that as well. Um, like, yeah. So people feed into the stereotypes and they try and live up to it. But um, anyway, I'll probably cut this one off here. I know it's been a bit of a ramblings, but um, yeah, thanks for listening.